Well, this is about the last place in the world when we expect to see a porcupine. And here we are on the banks of Potholes Reservoir. Middle of the desert. Middle of the desert. No pine trees for miles. But here's this porcupine. He's kind of showed up. He's actually, right now, he's probably six feet from me. He's just eating those leaves, isn't he? Yep, he's eating those leaves. Oh my goodness. I was supposed to folks camped over across the way with a dog. That's kind of scary. Yeah, well. Max, chances you take. Oh my goodness. How's that for a close up on a porcupine? Oh. But yeah, I've never, I've never uh, really observed a porcupine at this range. So we could do an experiment here, Con, and go over there and start smashing at him with your hand and see if he throws his quills into you. Or here, I'll take the camera and just go ahead and pet him. Yeah. Why don't you do that? There you go. It's also an excellent idea. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Popples porcupine. Who would have thought? That's really one of the last places in the world I would expect to see a porcupine in the middle of the desert. I thought they were forest animals. There are some pines in, in the in the park here, in the campground, but yeah. Apparently, he's not interested in pine trees. Mm -hmm. Get close to him. I'm going to change position mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get close to him. I just want to change it. Oh my goodness! Oh look it! Oh my goodness! He's now he's threatening you. Yeah, I walked a little bit closer to him to get around to get a better view of him. And he just turned his back to me and exposed all those quills. He's still eating. I don't get, I don't think he's really um, worried about you, but he's just letting you see he's uh, not to be messed with. Look at those quills. But yeah, he's just going back to eating now. He just wanted to let me know, don't mess. Don't mess with me. He's using his front hand to hold that down. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Who expected to see wildlife like that? Nobody. Excuse me. Now, they can kind of, um fling them, can't they? No. No? I woke up to a skunk one time crawling up my sleeping bag. Down on the coast? He has a, almost a um, pork, pork sign like face more than a rodent. What kind of animal is he closely related to, do you know? It's like a bear or a pig in his face. Porcupine. Where are you going, Mr. Porky? Here, no hurry, huh? I'm not gonna mess with you. No, I ain't gonna mess with you. No worries. Check it out, Your Honor. 
85 degrees and it's freaking snowing. Look at this. It's crazy. See all the snow? Is this cottonwood or is this from those brush and olive trees? It's coming out of the clouds up there. All right, people, you think you've seen seagulls before. Most of you have never seen anything, anything like this. How many thousands? Fishing was pretty tough at potholes, so we decided to take an afternoon off and just take a drive down through the Sepal Lakes where we used to hang out all the time. Like the potholes, I hadn't been here for at least 20 years. This is uh, Upper Goose Lake. Pretty down in here. I don't think I ever caught a bass out of this lake. I had a, a little bit of a thrill. I was over by the edge of that cliff there and I seen this smallmouth bass swimming up the shoreline right at me. I was about ready to go grab my fishing pole. And it got right up in front of me and I could see it was just a small carp. Pretty much the same color and body shape as a as a, a smallmouth, but it was a carp. Wish I had a polarized lens for these clouds. They're really really cool looking. I don't know what this camcorder will pick up of that, but uh, yeah, really wispy, swirly clouds. Kind of nice. Finally, after virtually a whole day of fishing, I had not had a single bite. And I'm just commenting to Connie, who would have thought you could come out here and fish for that long and not even get a bite? Then Connie started jumping and screeching and making noises and hooked this dandy walleye. I hooked him good, and I hooked the net in a miserable, messed up way. I got her out of the, out of the net. Uh, it keeps flopping. I got her out of the net for her, and she dropped her right back in the net. She's afraid of the fish, won't, afraid, to, afraid to take it off the hook, so I'll probably have to cut this video short, otherwise I could film this process here <laughs> for the rest of the day. Um, yeah. 